Hey guys, in this video, we are gonna deploy our app. This app, COVID 19 stats web app. So, first of all, we are gonna change our background and also change the font and also change the font of of color of the font now in here we're gonna select in fonts.google.com we're gonna select shadows into the light in here i'm going to select this style and embed use this link just select it go to your project and paste in here and give the name that you want i'm going to give covid 19 stats now just save it now in index.css you have to give this font family to select it and give it here and just change the color of the font and also the p tag will have the margin zero now go to your project it's almost done we're just gonna have to change the background you can change to any background that you want i'm going to change to a linear gradient background now just go to your browser you can see you got the app that's what we want yeah same thing now again uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna uh, build our app and produce into github dot github pages now first of all what you're gonna do we're gonna create a new repo for this I'm going to select the name of it COVID-19 cases and just save it and in here just copy this link and one more thing you have to do in here you have to install one package use npm install dash dash save gh dash pages so in the meantime we're gonna see how can we deploy our app so for now just closing this tab and just search for it what we're gonna search we're gonna search for react deploy yeah just go to this link and you can see deployment create react app yeah that's what we want right now just go to bottom you can see that we got building just go to bottom right and here you can see that we got github as a deployment so what we're gonna do we're gonna give one home page attribute in the package.json we have installed the gh pages now go to your package.json this is what the gh pages dependency in here so in here just give the home page and what's the attribute attribute is a url that you are gonna give and it will look like this https slash slash the name of the username or the user id of github as you can see for me it is ansuman301 and in here you have to type you can see my username dot github dot io and my hyphen app so just given to here unsuman 301 dot github dot io slash the app name my app name is covid 19 hyphen cases right 
you can see COVID-19 hyphen cases now that's it and one thing more yeah this is what we want this two statement is what we want the one is pre-deploy and npm run build and deploy gh hyphen pages that's the build you have to write yourself into your project so now that's it you're just gonna save it and we're gonna start running so first of all what we're gonna do use we're gonna use great remote add origin and just click it and we're gonna run this statement deploy statement so for this we're gonna use npm run build it will take some time Whew, finally it's done now we're gonna just add this files into our github now i'm going to use send the message commit dash m saving files into github and we're gonna just push the files get push origin master now we have pushed the code and just go to your project and just refresh it and in here you can go to your settings hmm. we can see we haven't got the uh, URL why so let's go to our pro code and just look into oh I have mistaken you don't have to write npm run build in here you just have to write npm run deploy because that's what's required in here so just run npm run deploy so first of all it's gonna build npm run build that's already been done and you can see that we have got one folder npm run build in here now in here you can see that after npm run build it's gonna run this line gh dash space dash d build that's what's deploy in here so it's done you can see that all things are being done now just go to your code and just again refresh it you have got one environment and you can just go in here and just view deployment and in here you can see that you got the app this is a network issue yeah you can see that you got the app in here so yeah that's it thanks